uh, thank our special guest today um, from Tom Green County, uh, Judge Steve Floyd, who we'll get a chance to hear uh, from you shortly. Yeah, I, I was glad. I was honored to get invited. An honor to get to be uh, with President Koenig and his wife being here, first live one. This is Koenig. I'm sure glad you finally got to host your first in-person luncheon. We were real concerned about overwhelming you with the talent that we have in this community. The decision was made to start at the bottom and improve from there, so that's the reason they called me to start, so it'll get better after this, I promise you. Obviously, uh, in the midst of this virus situation, that everyone is have some uh, some unknowns and some concerns. So uh, I was I was glad to get to fellowship with him a little bit, and uh, yeah, I, I pretty much a little primer on on structure, the way counties are done. You know, we're we're not we're very horizontally uh, command structure. Uh, cities basically uh, elect you elect the mayor and the city council, and here a police chief. And there, there's a city manager hired, and it's somewhat of a vertical command structure down through that staffing. Gave a little update on the, uh, the, the new jail and kind of a little bit of a history of how I'm pretty happy and proud of the team together, the construction and the design, the management team for bringing that thing in basically on budget. It did, it's gonna end up at about $70.6 million. So the pre-construction estimate was 69. A total of 1.4% contingency was put into the project, and I'm, I'm very happy to say that construction and design team and the management team were able to bring it in within that budget. From the governor on down, including myself, uh, basically has to have some divine guidance, <laughs> to be truthful about it. You have to make decisions. You, we get paid to make decisions. Uh, and we must maintain the continuity of our operations. And we have community partners in there. Everything that we've done has been centered around the health infrastructure of the community. Offered prayers, I promise you, we need them. Our commissioner's court starts every Tuesday morning with one of us praying. Without that guidance, I'm lost in the dark and have absolutely no power. And uh, we'll deal with this COVID until one of two things. The good Lord wiggles his little finger or COVID gets through with us. And uh, I'm here to help you get through it the best we can. Thank you.